Hey everyone, Eggman here with a, another video, and I'm here with Ernesto, our Awakened TCG, who just finished the core TCG regionals. How did you do today? Oh, I did amazing. I, <laughs> honestly, you know, I practiced certain matchups that I know I would verse. I had a lot of meta decks, so those are the decks I kind of have a lot of practice in, and so, you know, I felt very comfortable in into almost every matchup except the finals. Mm -hmm. That one was a, a little different. Uh, I, pr I probably had zero games against the film kid, but... Uh, Honestly, I finished my round eight pretty fast and had a little bit of time to practice with uh, my brother on the sim, mm -hmm. you know, got a few things down and then yeah, here we are. Yeah, definitely. And so real quick. So yeah, the tournament just happened. If you guys want to see the final spoilers, Ernesto did take it, but it's going to be uh, linked in the description for both on my Twitch and on my YouTube. So you guys can see it there. It will also be re-uploaded, edited to the stage zero YouTube, which is my co-commentator. And also while we're clicking on buttons and stuff, make sure to go over to Awaken TCG, hit that subscribe button. You're only like 40 away from like a thousand, right? You're pretty close. Yes. yes. You we're you so guys would be doing me a personal favor for getting him to a thousand. I'd really want to see that. So uh, let's let's do that again. Also, thank you to Core for running this event. All the rest of the top sixteen will be out in the next couple of days. But let's look at your list right now. All right, here is your deck verbatim. We're just going to go through uh, I think events and like just kind of staples and go and kind of go from there. But how many events are you running in this guy? Um, so in t in total, I'm running twelve. I think that's uh, the sweet spot for this deck. Um, one Union Armada, I think any more than that is not worth it because you can't use it on your leader, so it's technically a brick. Yeah. Uh, we go two Judgment of Hells. I will uh, swear by this card every every night and day. This card is amazing. Um, as you guys can see in the finals, yeah, if you guys no spoilers, but that, it uh, it it won uh, you. It definitely won you. Uh, I'll, I'll, cut I'll cut that out. I'll cut that out. No, no, you're, cut no, that no, out. no, no, no. You're good with spoilers. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Anyways, so this card is amazing, and especially at ten dawn, you'll always uh, be able to dawn minus one. So that is amazing. Two Bagua, I like the the ramp early on, but I mean ju it's just an amazing uh, plus four thousand counter, uh, nothing special. Uh, Punk Gibsons, I run at three. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like the only matchups you really need this in is like Law, and then uh, you know there's certain matchups where like late game blockers come into play. This is amazing, uh, but for the most part, your opponent will you know make sure to counter out or, or, or I mean swing first and then play their blockers. So chances are you won't see this too often. So I, I took one out. Uh, Spiderweb at four. This card right here is the bread and butter for this deck. Yep. You know, restand your blockers, multiple blocks, multiple Uta blocks. It's just a crazy, crazy event to have in this deck. Um, and then, yeah, let me just go ahead and talk about the, yeah. the basically the chunk of the deck. So 10, four drops, or uh, four, 10 drops yes. <laughs> uh, right there. Um, you, you, it is a staple. Uh, sugars, you could, go, you could go down to three, um, but I like seeing them, especially since there's a lot of Zoros, a lot of Laws, um, uh, you know, so yeah. and we we that. saw specifically yeah in the law match of that it can really go two for one it gets rid of the first thing and then they have to play something else to get rid of it and then you can attack into that exactly and so. early on it's massive because then you know they, they delay the shambles and then you're in a good spot uh then we have um for film we have four bonifistas not only is it 2k it searches all of your film uh, i run three bins so a lot of people run the brooks i hate the brooks i'm gonna be honest not a fan this into the Whitebeard matchup on curve going second wins you the matchup hands down. This yeah. pressure is amazing. Uh, so that's why I run this in specific for the Whitebeard matchup. Um, then we have four Luffy's here. Four Luffy's. Uh, Self-explanatory. Yeah. You know, plays your bins, plays your Namis, your and, your and your four Namis, yeah. <laughs> yeah, four Namis. Uh, searchable. Uh, you can search all your film with the Nami. Amazing card. That card will win you matchups. Uta. Again, when you're getting rushed down by Law, getting rushed down by Zoro, this comes in handy. Uh, for 2Ks, I run I run, uh, I run, three um, choppers, two shikis. And the reason I do that is because I want an extra bins. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. If, if not, I would run, I would run uh, an extra shiki. Because uh, funny enough, that trigger, Dawn minus one, play this card, could potentially win you a game. But yeah. that's why I have it. And then, so let's go ahead and... Uh, do some of some of my sauce. Um, one Shiki. I saw this on another deck list um, from Eggman on his website. I saw <laughs> someone was running it, and I, I decided to try it out. Uh, but in the Whitebeard matchup, if you play a Bins on Curve and then you play a Shiki on Curve, you're in a better spot than they are. Mm -hmm. Like you, you're the Whitebeard at that point. Yeah. You got your Vanillas on board, and then this will never die. So, amazing card. I run one Diamante. To be honest, the reason I run it is because I have an alt art, so I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna throw it in. Um, <laughs> and I, but it actually did work in in the finals. No spoilers. Yeah, it got um, it got a lot of value in that. A hundred percent, like it kept. I it. do, yeah, hundred percent. And then I do two queens. 
Um, I feel like playing this uh, end game is really good, but early on it kind of feels bad unless you go first and you can still uh, 10, 10 uh, cost uh, Dofi on curve. Yeah. Because, you know, you'll be at 10 regardless. Mm -hmm. uh, so I keep that at two. And then Tesoro, another amazing card. I used to run four. Uh, I lost faith in it. It is a brick. And then if you see too many of these, it could really mess up your tempo. And so I keep it at two when I see it. Cool. If I can play it, cool. If not, you know, it is what it is. It's, yeah. you know, it's staying at two. So you don't break too much. But yeah, that that's basically the list. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I'd say like what you... you do and, and something that's good for for some of these decks like yeah we have a lot of the standard cards but running some of these one ofs that maybe your opponent's not playing around or expecting especially like i think hell's judgment again is probably like a one or two of if any in most of those lists and so uh, i don't think your opponent really played around it very well which means that you were able to you know capitalize on that and yep. those those low techs can make a big difference in a in a long tournament 100 percent. so well thank you for the list and let's just uh let's talk about your matchups real quick all right, and nine rounds is quite a long uh, day. A lot of a lot of one piece for it. Uh, what were your your quick matchups for for the day? Um, so round one, I had a white beard. It went pretty smooth. Uh, round two was the mirror, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, funny enough, and then give some people, you know, some tips. If you're a green purple Dofi player, uh, you want you tend to want to go first in that matchup. You uh, even against film kid and you know the mirror, you want to go first. Try it out, see how it works. Okay, interesting. Um, interesting. Round three, another white beard right i was able to see my uh bins on curve my shiki on curve uh did amazing there my round four was a zoro um that one went pretty smooth round five against the law i was able to see an early chopper and um two early sugars so that one oh yeah that three removal you know, i fantastic. through that matchup yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, round six was against a katakuri another close one uh i was off curve he won dice roll so he went second uh, he was able to you know kind of um whittle me down but at the end of the day i was just too aggressive and he couldn't keep up and um, we i think we might have shown that one too you're on stream quite a bit because most yeah. of the rest of the top of the day like 20 minutes in the round there weren't anything else to watch so uh yeah. but I, I did they not see the 10 drop for that one either i think they that, did not see the yeah, 10 that, drop that definitely helps a lot for that matchup too did not see the 10 drop uh but i did not see any either and sure. my 10 drops yes yeah. right and so um there were they were, on the situation where they could have ten mommed. I might have had a lethal. It would have came down to what was in life, but mm -hmm. um, so I mean, different situation. It is hundred uh, percent. Yeah. Round seven, I played another white beer. So it was my third white beer. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was able. Like I said, I saw the bins on curve, shiki on curve, and then especially when you when you shiki on curve and you swing with your bins that turn, they're they're gonna want to kill your bins. Union Armada. Mm -hmm. the yes. Yes. Yeah. Now they give you more cards out life. You're in a good spot. Mm -hmm. Um round eight what did i play round eight um i'm blinking out one sec let me see let me uh did I you play against out. i think it was it either a law was that the law player or was that round nine yes no no that was that was the law another yeah. law yeah yeah because uh yeah it's either law, yeah, honestly it's either law or white beer i think at that point that was pretty much all yeah it was, it was a lot because i did verse two laws yeah okay okay yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have that for round eight and round nine, and then obviously our finals, which was again a, a green finals, which I haven't seen in a really, really long time in this card game, uh, with with you versus Eustace Kid. Yeah, I mean, I mean, go go watch the game. It's gonna yeah. be up, and it was a good one. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. And uh, so, real quick, what would you say? You know, why would you play Dofi? What is your reason you played it? And uh, and if I'm afforded a third question, uh, what is the best and worst matchup for the deck? You think? Um, so I'll start with the first question. Uh, why do I play green, purple, Dofi? Well, in um, I, I didn't really play too much set one. I was kind of mm -hmm. on and off. Set two, I really got into it. And uh, I started playing Kine Mon. Okay. Yeah. I was able to get a top 32 and a treasure cup. And I'm like, green's my favorite color. Yeah. And so there's these factors. It was like, I just want to play green. I want to play green. Set three, green was not that good. So I played Zoro, but I didn't really enjoy it. Sure. And then now this is... Uh, potentially the best green deck you could play other mm -hmm. than red green law obviously yeah. but i wouldn't consider that a green deck no nah, it's um, definitely more red leaning yeah and so that yeah that's the reason why i play it just because i like i like green i love playing green um I, I like to play meta and and this is the closest thing that i can get to that so sure um second question what was the second question uh second question is uh what would you what is advice or why would you you know recommend this deck to other people why would someone want to play this deck I'm going to be honest with everybody watching this. If you're going to play this deck, um, obviously you can be an offensive-minded player, mm -hmm. but this deck really shines if you are if you have a defensive 
uh, play style and you're really defensive minded that's mm -hmm. when this deck really shines if you know how to maximize your your efficiency when you're on the offense and then also maximize your efficiency when you're on the defense this deck will will work wonders for you um yeah as, as i did and so yeah if, if you like to play on the defense this deck is amazing your opponents get caught off guard because you know every single turn you're gonna have two dawn up is it a spider web is it a punk gibson it puts them in these positions where they don't know what's coming yeah. and yeah uh i think the deck's really strong a lot stronger than what's than, than you know what what people think i'm, I'm gonna be honest because mm -hmm. um, i feel like every every matchup i can win 100 sure. percent um obviously luck factor yeah. you know you'll lose here and there but uh for the most part you'll win and yeah. then um uh, what was the third question? I'll definitely third, answer Third it. question. And, and real quick, I, I, one thing I do want to mention is that it is definitely is a deck that lets you play on your opponent's turn, I think, more than a lot of other decks that are around there, which is both strong, but also means that there is some skill for that, too. So I, I think that uh, that additional skill cap. And yeah, if you see your curve, and I think there are some consistency issues with Dofi, mostly just finding the 10-drop, but uh, other than that, it's, uh, it's in a really yeah. good spot. So, But uh, last question is, what would you say is the worst and uh, best matchup for this deck? Um, I think some of the best matchups, uh, might have to be, I, I didn't verse any blue today. Okay. Um, and that, that really, really is rough. Blue mm -hmm. is rough. Rebecca's rough. Um, playing against Croc is really rough. Mm -hmm. Those decks, even Nami, even Nami, uh, this deck against Nami does struggle against blue. I will say that, mm -hmm. um, that is one thing to look uh, out for. I honestly didn't verse a single blue leader. So, you know, uh, a little bit of luck for me today. Yeah. Um, and then as far as best matchups, I think, uh, oddly enough, Whitebeard. I think mm -hmm. Whitebeard, I think this deck has a really good um, matchup spread against most of the top tier red decks because it has it has the answers. You just got to find them, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah, I love playing against Whitebeard. That's probably my personal favorite matchup. Uh, but it could be different for different people. Everyone plays different, so. Yeah. No, but I, I think that's fine, and like uh, we'll we'll see this on Monday. But Newgate is definitely the the most played deck for th this tournament uh, and many others in this format. So having uh, that be one of your more comfortable matchups, I think, is is something that is uh you know can lead to success, like you saw this weekend yeah. as well. Yeah. So well, cool. Well, I think that's really all I have for you. Uh, any shout outs or anything before we wrap this up? Shout out to Cross. Shout out to Skis, my boys. The Cross Discord, amazing mm -hmm. place to get better. Um, shout out to my brothers. I have two uh, brothers, one younger, one older. They both play with me. They're my training partners. Yeah. Awaken TCG and our whole crew. We just, you know, it's just, it's basically family and close friends of mine. And it's like, you know, six, seven of us. And we just play all day. Yeah. Uh, we don't really have too much outside practice. So, uh, you know, proud of my proud of myself for winning and subscribe to Awaken TCG and subscribe to Eggman. He is amazing. He does so much for our community. So make sure to give him his props because he deserves it. Yeah, and I really appreciate it. And again, you guys would be doing me a personal favor to get it, you know, Awaken TCG to 1,000. So I want to see that Monday morning. I'm going to, yeah, get there. And again, if you guys want to see any of the matches we covered, including the final, I think two of your matches outright were, were covered all the way through. So uh, yeah. that is on my Twitch and on my uh, YouTube live stream uh, spot it will be re-uploaded to stage zero uh 100 edited to the the main matches too so make sure to be on the look out for that deck list for the entire event monday morning will be out there too and uh, i think that's going to be it for everyone so thank you all for watching do appreciate it and we'll catch you all next time <laughs>